Be careful what you wish for because because it can become a reality. Yeah. All right, Brendan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with one of the, the bright young stars of boxing, Diego Pacheco. First of all, good to see you again, Diego. Likewise, bro. Nice to see you here back in Vegas. Another great card under Matchroom The Zone. Um, just excited to be here and uh, ready to put on another ass whooping this Saturday. He said, he said, I, I, I like that, man. Some confidence, yeah, man. Uh, ass whooping. You know, you, you, you ain't much of a talker, but you, I've seen you growing in confidence over the years. Yeah. Um, how do you feel you're maturing as a fighter? You've matured since maybe the last time I seen you. Uh, yeah, I mean, the last time we, we, we did an interview... It's 2021. Um, I, yeah, I remember it was right... It was in San Diego. Yep, Fighting yep. out there, and, uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's, I've come a long way since then. You know, now I'm here with my family, with my wife, my daughter, and uh, just excited to be back in Vegas. You know, I had an amazing training camp. I have a good opponent in front of me, so, you know, it's good for the record, and uh, just, you know, ready to show that there's levels in the game. You know, I know you've been believing in me since the beginning, you know, so now it's time to just show the rest of the world. Correct, correct. Uh, you mentioned, also oh, so Sean McCallman, uh, wh what do you know about him as an opponent, and what do you think about him? Uh, I just know he's, uh, I just know he's 15 and 0, seven knockouts. Uh, I know he fought, uh, what, like, three, four fights ago, he fought a guy two and two and went the distance. And, uh, you know, just, and I just know I'm levels ahead of him, you know. I'm, I'm just ready to put on another great performance and and, um, and just have another great year. You know, 2023 was an amazing year for me. Went, uh, headlined at three different countries and, and got the knockout in, in each one of those fights. And I'm just looking forward to do the same thing this year, yeah, starting off with uh, Sean McCallum, man. And, um, and, yeah, man, like I said, I'm just ready to, to take care of business Saturday and then move forward to, to bigger fights. Not for sure. Uh, you're a quiet guy. You don't do a whole lot of talking, but but um, I know you I know you rate yourself highly. Uh, what, what do you think makes Zeke Pacheco a, a, a standout fighter? Um, I just feel like, like you said, you know, I don't do much talking, you know, but I, I believe in myself more than anyone else. You know, I, I know the, what I could do in the ring, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've shown my abilities in the ring before, but I feel like you guys still haven't seen everything yet, you know, and, um, this camp, you know, I've been feeling amazing, you know, people in my gym could tell you, man, I'm sharp, man, I feel the strongest I've ever been, and, uh, I'm just looking forward to this Saturday, it's gonna be amazing, um, you know, I feel like, like, I don't do much talking because, like, everything I say really don't, don't mean nothing. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Talk like, is cheap, right? Exactly, yeah, you yeah. know, it's, it's about what we do and we in there, and, like I said, you know, when I'm in there, I... I, I, I back it up and you know, I perform. I do what I, I'm supposed to do, and you know, right now I'm on a knock, nine knock, knockout streak, nine fight knockout Night, streak, yeah. and uh, just looking forward to keep it going. You know, because um, you know, like I said, you know, I could box, I could move, I could, I could um, counter punch, I could pass the guy forward, I could walk him down. You know, I could do all of that, and and I feel like I got a good chin too. You know, my last fight I got caught a few times with some flush hooks, and it wasn't nothing. You know, I kept my composure, stay focused, stick to the game plan, and got him out of there. And this fight, you know the same thing you know stay locked in and uh, just stick to the game plan not for sure you're in an interesting weight class right because canelo kind of has all the belts at the top i mean i don't i don't know how realistic it is like, to fight him but as far as the other guys you know who, who, who do you think could be the big fight for you because i know berlanga has been mentioned um yeah you know. I, I think berlanga because we were the same promoter and i feel like that's the easiest fight to make but obviously he doesn't want to fight me right now um, you know, but there's a lot of other guys, but most of the other guys are with PBC. So if Eddie could could get the bag right for them and then convince them to get in there with me, then then that'd be amazing. You know, because they, like when they look at me, they're like, man, like I ain't got nothing to win going he's against a, he's a, a kid. kid. Exactly. You know, so and I have everything to win and they have like everything to lose. You know, so. Uh, I guess Eddie just got to come correct to them and hey, make them fights. You know, there's Charlo, there's Caleb Plant. Get you a morale or something. Yeah, you know, all these good fighters up there. Um, I feel like like I've already, like a lot of like hardcore fans, like you know what I could do in there. Like mm -hmm. you guys know what I'm about. But it's like the other fans who, who like, they can't really name anyone I fought. You know what I mean? So they, that's why I feel like they don't give me that respect yet. Yeah, and yeah. That's why they don't like have me up there with the elites because I haven't been in there with them because I haven't had the chance to, you know. But I, if you ask, like, Eddie or, like, uh, Kevin Rooney or these guys from Magic, the staff. I, I've been telling them about getting me these fights, you know. But obviously, you know, they know what they're doing. Uh, they're, I'm their investment, so they, they move me the way they, they think is the best way. So, you know, I'm, I trust them, you know, of course. You know, I, I know they... This is what they do, you know, so I'm going to do my part. And, and they do their part. And, yeah. Well, funny enough, right, I actually interviewed um, Berlanga's trainer, Mark Ferre, when I was in or Florida. And they, and they said, well, he said, I don't know what the, real, what the reality is, but he said they'd love that fight with you. They feel like they match up very well against against you. Yeah, listen, I'm ready. I'm ready <laughs> for that fight. You know, I tell Eddie, 
You know, obviously, you know, I'm not overlooking this guy, Sean McCollum. You know, I got him in front of me this Saturday. Of course, so of course. Respecting him, you know, he's a good fighter. He's here for a reason. But, um, you know, definitely I'm ready for that fight. You know, Edgar Blanc, I've been telling Eddie since last year, you know, I want to get that fight done. But you know, for one reason or another, uh, it hasn't been made. But, you know, hopefully after this fight, after I get this win, I'm going to make it clear up there that I want Edgar Belanga next if that's possible you know if, if he's ready for it and if he's up for it but if not then um you know any other guy who who will get me closer to that world title shot you know i'll be ready for them later on this year okay what, what kind of fight do you think if it was signed edgar belonga and you could be what, what kind of fight you think that would be uh, i think it would be a master class boxing lesson for me and um man belanga don't got skills like that you know, i feel <laughs> My boxing skills are on a different level, and um, you know, honestly, I feel like I haven't really had to get in my bag like that in these past fights, you know. But and if one gets a fighter like him, I, I'll have to, you know, be at my best. And 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 me at my best, I feel like nobody's gonna fuck with me. Like to be honest, man, like, I'm just telling you how I feel. You know, you, people could agree with me or disagree, but you know, I know what it is. I, I appreciate the honesty, man, because I know you know you don't really talk too much. But um, as far as like. The, you know your weight class. Um, you, know, you got Dave Benavidez, right? You know, top top fighter. And I know I know I asked you about this three years ago. I'll, I'll ask you again because you have more time with him. What's it been like? You know, just being with him in camp and learning from him. Yeah, no, he's an amazing dude. You know, I, one of the like, he's one of the like most humble, most like he just wants to help everybody all the time. It's crazy. Like I know you probably ain't been around him that much. I never met so. him. So, bro, he's one of them dudes that just wants to help. Like, even when he's in the middle of his workout, he'll, like, stop and be like, yo, bro, I think this will work for you. Try this. And he'll, like, just try to correct me through it. And just, like, all the little tips. Like, he goes out of his way and does things that he, should, like, that he he doesn't have to do, you know what I mean? And, and he does it with, like, with genuine intentions to, like, help you get better. And um, and I just, you know, that's my brother, man. He's going to make it out to the fight. He's going to be here tomorrow. Oh, will he? Yeah, Perfect. Man, that's, that's my boy. Okay. He's going to pull up and, and show support. And, uh, yeah, I'm Honestly, you know, now he's moving up to 175, you know, so. I'm excited he, about that. Yeah, he told me, he's like, bro, it's open for you now. Yeah. yeah. Jose told me the same thing. Yeah. Saludos para toda la raza. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so our goal now is me work my way up to, to getting these world title fights and, and becoming undisputed at 168, and David's going to do the same thing at 175. And just reign, reign over the 168 division. Yeah, yeah right, that's uh, the goal. As far as uh, last thing about Benavidez and I'll uh, interview Bo, what do you think about him against maybe the winner better be Evan Bivol? Uh, uh, that's a 50 50 fight, bro. Honestly, I think both of them are really good fighters. Uh, but honestly, I like, if I tell you like my honest opinion, I feel David beat both of them. Yeah. 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 They're both they're both uh, good fights. You know, Bivol is uh, a boxer. Better be a boxer puncher. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, for sure. They're good fighters, but I'm like, really man. Happy that elite fighters for a reason, you know. They the best in boxing right now. But I feel David is, is just different, man. Like he get in there, and like I feel like a lot of people don't respect him for his skills that much. You know, they think he's just a monster, but he got he got real skills. You know? That's that's how you're marketing him, man. The Mexican monsters. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Monster, but he got real skills in there. I ain't gonna lie. Like he didn't even have that many amateur fights or any of that. But he be working his ass off. He got real skills. Okay, okay. Well, Diego, I don't want to hold you up too much longer. But uh, any final message you want to give to the boxing world, or maybe the fine folks out in South Central before you fight? Uh, yeah, man, I just appreciate all the support, man. You know, 20 and 0 right now, and 21 after Saturday, and just ready for for these big fights, man. You know, I'm working hard and, and, and working my way to get to these fights, and I appreciate everyone supporting, man. I appreciate y'all DP show this Saturday. There you go, Diego Pacheco. Thank you. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Canfield, New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.